spoke to Team Tandem and the release that a lot of us on the team are absolutely dying to read so much so that we've we've set Lex on the task of finding out who um who's in charge of the proofs for this book because we we want them but we don't know yet <laughs> Hello Tandem Fandom, my name's Jenny and today I'm coming to you with the mid-year freakout tag. Now you might have seen quite a lot of booktubers do this tag recently and I thought we would kind of jump on that trend as Tandem. So I am going to be tweaking some of the questions slightly and I am going to be skipping some of the questions but they will all be linked down below um, and there'll be timestamps so you know when to skip to if you want to skip ahead. So if you didn't know, the Midyear Freakout tag is a way of being able to kind of refer back to your reading across the year. And at Tandem, we have read many books. We've run over 250 read-alongs around the world across multiple countries so so far this year we've run read-alongs in checks notes over 12 different countries so I've got a lot of books to pick from and like I said I've changed some of the wordings on some of the questions a little bit um, but I hope you enjoy please do comment down below let us know what your answers to this tag would be so question number one what is the best read-along of the year. Now I've decided to take this as what is the most engaged read-along of the year. So as you may know, we measure engagement rates on our read-alongs. So every single person who posts on normally on Instagram or on TikTok or here on YouTube will see how many likes and comments that they have got, saves as well, and we'll divide that by the amount of followers and that gets us our engagement rate. This is a collective rate, so whether you have got 10 followers or 10,000 followers, it makes no difference at all. Everybody's numbers are all put together, so any likes, comments, follows, saves that you can engage with on any post adds to our overall engagement rate. Now, let's go through some numbers here. I'm gonna do our most engaged campaign from every from a number of countries. So starting off with Canada, we have Coming to Find You by Jane Corey. In America, we had All That Is Mine I Carry With Me by William Landy. In the UK, we've got The School Reunion by Shalini Boland. In Spain, we've got Sanditon by Jane Austen. In Italy, it was Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. In South Africa, it was I Do, Don't I by Zitu Sipoli. In Germany, and my apologies for pronunciation here, Die Stille, Die Flut by Anna Johansson. And in Australia, we've got The School Run by Ali Lowe. Now, like I said, this is just the tip of the iceberg, but these were the most engaged campaigns in some of our regions. Our second question is what is the best sequel that you've read so far this year? And again at Tandem we have done so many read-alongs for sequels of books but I'm gonna just mention two. First of all is The Mystery Guest by Nita Prose. So this is the sequel to The Maid and we ran this campaign in UK, uh, America and Canada I believe. Um, the Maid was super, super popular when it came out and our community has also really loved The Mystery Guest as well. We just loved getting back with Molly the Maid. Secondly, I want to mention Emily Wilde's Map of the Otherlands by Heather Fawcett. Um, this is the sequel to Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies and this was a read-along which we ran in Australia. Again, our community loved getting back with Emily and all of the different fairies. Absolutely fantastic. We love doing read-alongs for sequels because we just love it when there's so many people who are so excited already about the world. The next question is, what is a new release that you can't wait to get to? Now, I'm sneakily taking this one myself. 
I did ask the team and then I thought, no, I want to answer this one all by myself. So a new release that I cannot wait to get to is, is this one, The End Crowns All by B. Fitzgerald. This is the second book by B. Fitzgerald. She came out with Girl Goddess Queen last year, which I absolutely ate up and adored. We're running a global read along for The End Crowns All. It's running across multiple European countries. I think it's running in India. It might be running in a few other countries as well. I'm afraid I just don't remember. Um, but this one is a another Greek retelling. It follows Cassandra, who is one of Apollo's seers, and also Helen of Troy, and I cannot wait to read it. Also, just how stunning is it with the blue sprayed edges? Love it. An anticipated release for the second half of the year. So again, spoke to Team Tandem, and the release that a lot of us on the team are absolutely dying to read so much so that we've we've set Lex on the task of finding out who um, who's in charge of the proofs for this book because we we want them, but we don't know yet. <laughs> um, and that book is Think Again by Jacqueline Wilson. So again, you might have seen on our channel that here at Tandem we are big Jacqueline Wilson fans. We're very, very excited for Think Again, which is Jacqueline's first adult book, following um, Ellie, Magda and Nadine from the Girls series, which was released back in the 90s, and seeing where they are now as 40-year-olds. I cannot wait. What is your favourite new author? Again, spoke to the team about this one and one name kept on cropping up and that was John Mars. So we've run a John Mars readathon this year where we read a number of his books, but John Mars has got such an incredible backlist that even if you're not normally a thriller reader, I think there is a John Mars book for you. John Mars is such an amazing author. He's got thrillers, he's got books with more kind of speculative, almost sci-fi element. Fantastic, absolutely love him. And then we've got the final question that I'm going to go through today, which is what book do you need to read by the end of the year? So I am passing this one over to the team and you will see a few suggestions from members of the team. But my book that I need to read by the end of the year, and please do help me and hold me accountable to this, is Yellowface by R.F. Quang. This came out last year. I don't know why I haven't read it yet. I'm slightly intimidated but also I know I'm going to really enjoy it. So I just don't know why I've not read it. So hold me accountable. Make sure by the end of the year, I have read Yellowface. So that is our mid-year freak out tag. Hopefully you have enjoyed this and you've enjoyed seeing a little bit of behind the scenes on what Team Tandem have been reading and enjoying. If you like this video, please do leave us a like, subscribe down below. Like I said, comment your answers. If you want more from Team Tandem, please do follow us on Instagram, on TikTok, and sign up to our newsletter where you can be first to hear about all of our fantastic read-alongs. Bye. I need to read The Crook Prince by Holly Black. I need to read The Warm Hands of Ghosts. I need to read The Familiar by Lee Bardugo. I need to read The Ex-Talk because it has been in my TBR for way too long.